This is the love of my life. Who that? You. Who them? Who them? This you is see? you. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's so that was gorgeous, man. My kindergarten picture, I had like this fake smile, like I didn't know how to smile. I was like, for some reason, when somebody told me to smile, I was like, eh, I didn't know how to smile. This one, I don't know how they caught me naturally, just with the flyest smile of all. Making that famous cabbage. Yes. Okay, With your it. assistance. I can call you new. She can call me new. Okay. That's her that's nickname a, for me. That's uh She been calling me that since I was a baby. No, no. Only I my knew. grandmother can call me that. Nobody else can call me new. I named her that because she was the new baby. Well, when I'm on the road, I will, I always miss the, the the home cooked meals. You know what I mean? Like, you don't get that on the road. So um, when I come home, I come right in the refrigerator. That's it. Whenever I go to my grandmother's house, first thing I do is look in the refrigerator, look on the stove. I yell out, Grandma, what you cook? You cook nothing today? <laughs> it was good. You know what I mean? You cut it up into like quarters and pieces, big pieces, and then you get your chop on. I've not. never seen her do it, so now I'm learning as we go, actually. So now, when she ain't here, I'm gonna know what to do. We're gonna add one third cup of olive oil to a half a cup and a tablespoon of minced garlic. garlic. And sprinkle some Creole. Creole seasoning. I'm just gonna stir it, saute, let it cook down, keep stirring it. The cabbage only takes 15 to 30 minutes. Certain things, you know, when you become famous, like the, the, the things change for us, like the feeling of how it used to be. And then, you know, only with my grandmother and like my mom and like my little sister, I still feel like that. You know what I mean? Like they never acted different. Well, the first time I heard her, I was in the car and I heard her on the radio, I start crying. Word? I didn't even know that. <laughs> to me, I knew it was another answered prayer. She knew what she wanted to do early in life. Right. And to see her get there, it, it's just like, I don't even know how to, to um, explain it. That's G-Mac right there. <laughs> that G-Mac cabbage, man. It's okay? It's great. Actually, I'm gonna put this one. This is a Cajun fish fry. It's already seasoned. Tastes a little salty. That's the purpose of mixing a little flour with it, too and mix it together. I want everything to be spicy. My fish, my shrimp, my crab legs, my um, my vegetables. I make fruit spicy, you know what I mean? Like the mangoes, you put the hot sauce on the mangoes. That's that seasoning, boy. If it ain't right, it ain't right. And usually I dry my fish, you know, so it won't um, burn when I put it in the grease. When I went on tour just um, just in 2017, like around April, May, we was on a uh, tour bus, of course. So, you know, we just we just riding around through different cities. Um, anywhere we stop, we probably stop at like Golden Corral, McDonald's, you know, any fast food spot, any restaurant, or you can eat. And then, you know, we had a lot of alcohol, you know, on the road or whatever the case. So all those things started to add up. When I got off tour, I was 167. I couldn't even believe it. And I was like, I bet I'm gonna make it my duty. I'm gonna sign up for this gym, sign up for a gym, um, and just say, yo, I'm gonna cut out meats. It was hard on Thanksgiving, I ain't gonna lie. And I did one, one, one plate, I, I had like one turkey leg. I just had to, this when I first started, I'm just like, yo, nah, I can't do it. So I tried, I was like, I can't do cold turkey, I'm gonna just ease off it. But um, even after that, after that, I was like, nah, you know what, I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm gonna really stop. Like my mom was, um. She played music all day, you know what I mean? She was, when she cleaned, she played music. When she, uh, before she got ready to go out, she played music. 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying, was the first first album I, I took actually serious. I remember first hearing him, I was I was in the car, it was, in, it was on the radio. I remember being in the car to myself, in my mind, saying this has gotta be the dopest shit I ever heard in my life. And then that's when I, I guess I got home and, and started to find out, started to see more of him on TV and stuff like that, and I did my research. 
And I was already like doing like my little rapping on the low, like I was like every now and then, but that really made me be like, oh yo, I, I wanna do this, I love this, this is dope, like he's fire. Like I, I should be like that, the female version, you know, as I'm thinking at the time. Oh, you gotta say prayer first, of course. You gonna be blessing? You are. I'm blessed? Yeah. Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That's the most important part about eating together. Get a chance to pray. Pray over the food. Sometimes when I pray, they be like, I'm going to do a whole long drawing out. <laughs> a sermon. <laughs> Only when we got like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Cooking is a big part of, of my, my house, my family, period. My mom, right now, if you go to her house, she's going to have something cooked already, and she'll be insulted if you don't sit down and have a plate of food. And we sit at the table. You know, there's no people eating all over the house. Nope, never was. Sit down at the dining table. We have our discussions, too. Everybody knew me from school. They knew I played football. I wasn't scared. I was running the ball. I was popping people back. Like, that's what it was. We played football. We play a game and we play another team. And then we got to dap everybody up at the end of the game. And you know, you got to take your helmet off. So they seen I was a girl. They was like, yo, that was a girl. Yo, that's a girl. Number 86 is a girl. That's a girl. You know, part of it kind of takes place with hip hop, you know, from being a girl on a football team and, you know, trying to be dominant in a dominant, you know, industry or whatever the case. So um, I kind of could say that I definitely probably broke that, you know, that that door down to, to people being like, all right, well, she, you know, she a gay rapper. I, like, I literally came through the door, like, don't label me. Not a gay rapper, I'm a rapper. So I guess once I, I made that established from the door, you know, it became, okay, this is just young and made. She's an artist. It's not, she's a female rapper, she's a gay rapper, whatever. So I, it was kind of me kind of making that initiative too at the same time. You know, people automatically judge you on how they want to take you as whatever they want to take you as. So I came in the door like, no, don't take me as that. This is me. And I never really, I never really, neither with music, I never really kind of like threw it out there in people's face like, oh, I'm a gay rapper. Like, it was always just I said whatever I said. I said what was on my mind. I said my experiences. I said what I went through. It was never like, oh, I'm. I'm gonna be the first Dyke rapper. I just wanna thank you for even taking the time to even doing this with me and, and showing people just, you know, the other side of me. And, and you know, you're a big, very important person in my life and to who I am today. So I definitely thank you for not just your food, but just you being a grandmother and like a mom to me as well. And I want that I can say too about my grandmother, man, when, when she first found out that I was, you know, out there, out the closet or whatever, never judge me. You know what I mean? That's one thing I say about my family. No one never judged me. My grandmother, she accepted me from day one. Like, she never looked at me no different. She probably kind of even knew it already. And she just was always accepting of me. She never looked at me no different way, never looked down on me, never just judged me nothing. You know what I mean? She still loved me the same, as the same new as she always knew me as. So, thank you for that, too. I'm on it, and you're going to make me cry. Don't cry on camera, though. <laughs> can't do that. But, um, you know, I've always been proud of you, and I always liked the idea that you, you went for what you wanted, you knew what you wanted, and you spoke your truth. That's right. And you didn't allow anyone else to label you. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Yep. And you know, I continue being who you are. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>